So your director, Dean, says that you are super nice. What do you find to be more persuasive, kindness or martial arts? Kindness, of course. <laughs> well, I also heard that a lot of people in this movie do a lot of their own stunts, a lot of your co-stars. Uh, who impressed you the most? Helen. Yeah. When I first met her, I uh, was in Montreal, and that was just before shooting. We were studying about the uh, gun mm -hmm. together, and then she was, she kept asking a lot of questions to the you know inspector, and that was so impressive because you know she's a woman mm -hmm. and um, she's not familiar with the weapons, so she really wants to um, try hard. And that was so um, impressive for me because, you know, <clears throat> she's an expert of uh, acting and she's a legend. But, and, but the scene she's trying to learn hard was, um, you know, uh, it's really beautiful. It looks so beautiful to oh, me. Great. Yeah. Well, you know, also audiences in the U.S. are, of course, familiar with you as Storm Shadow mm -hmm. in the first two G.I. Joe films. What new side of, of you as an actor are you excited for them to see in Red 2? As you know, this uh, Red 2 is a comedy action. So um, um, my character is so serious, <laughs> but at the same time, my character gives a lot of laugh to audience. So yeah, that's that's the big difference. And also, you know, it's been the same producer on both those, uh, you know, the GI Joe films, Lorenzo, and also this one. And you know, they always say uh, Hollywood is a business of relationships. How would you compare working in Hollywood with, uh, you know, the South Korean film industry? Basically, it's it's almost the same, mm -hmm. but you know, but for me, uh, you know, language and culture, cultural differences. Mm -hmm are one of the hardest thing to uh, adjust. Oh, really? Do you mind uh, any particular story in particular that stands out about, you know, a language barrier or a cultural barrier on this film? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I still have some problems. No, I mean, some, <laughs> it's not a problem, but uh, anyways, it's hard to, um, sometimes when we talk about some kind of, you know, um, uh, important scenes, and when, when I uh, need to uh, talk about those kind of scenes with director, mm -hmm. sometimes we need to uh, have really deep conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, at those kind of uh, situations, I, I feel uncomfortable a little bit because uh, if I speak in Korean, then I would express myself uh, perfectly, but sometimes it's a little bit hard, harder than no, so. Well, you know, with the, with the increasing influence of the Asian markets on the Hollywood box office, do you think there will be more and more global opportunities for actors such as yourself? I hope so. I hope so. And uh, we'll never know. So I need to, uh, I need to see that. Well, you're, you're a huge star in South Korea. Uh, everyone loves you, Storm Shadow. I'm sure everyone's excited to see you in this film. And I also thought it was wonderful that you started your own management company for uh, other actors. Uh, what advice would you give any uh, Asian actors trying to break into the business today? As I told you, I still have some, uh, you know, uh, language problem mm -hmm. and some kind of uh, cultural differences. So I, I would say they need to open their mind to accept those uh, different cultures. And also they need to um, um, learn more English. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to be comfortable. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I will say that.